Don't you break my heart No, no, no the lounge kings it's your girl Lear Monet and I'm finally back with another video y'all I know I've been slacking I haven't really been as consistent as I had hoped this YouTube stuff is, is still new and I'm trying to get the hang of it but um thank you guys so much for sticking with me for not unsubscribing and just you know constantly watching my stuff when I do post so I thank you guys if you guys are new welcome to my channel I go by Lear Monet um but yeah y'all um like comment subscribe you already know the deal but um let's just get right into the video so what i have noticed is that when i've been doing um like shoe reviews and stuff like that like my views go up a little bit more so i'm thinking okay if i could still stay in the beauty fashion thing but like shoes releases it just makes sense so today i'm going to re be reviewing the yeezy foam runners in the color sand and I finally got these in, y'all. I'm so happy, y'all. I'm so hyped. Like, y'all see this? This ain't fake. Like, I'm so hyped. So, I've been, like, asking my boyfriend, I'm like, yo, can you please help me find these shoes? Like, I need these shoes before I go back to school. Like, I wanted foam runners this whole summer. This whole year, for real, for real. And I was like, I need these foam runners. So, I finally got my hands on a pair of foam runners. You know, they was a little pricey. But we're going to get right into that. So yeah, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go off of the boxing. We're gonna unbox it. Well, not really unbox it, but I'm gonna just show y'all the packaging. So this, it's not even focusing. So this is what the box looks like. What I have noticed about Yeezy, if you guys watched my other Yeezy slide review, their boxes are so bland. Like it's simplistic, it's not, it's not complex, it's not doing the most. You know, he's very like neutral with his colors and stuff and I feel like his boxing matches that if that makes sense like everything is so simple he doesn't do the most it doesn't even have the name which was i was a little like that's a little weird but it has the name right there so as you can see the foam runners and if they were the slides i think the slides either had it on the side or at that place so yeah so to start off <laughs> so the shoes right now um so for my size i wear a size seven these foam runners i believe they're going for about let me double check real quick because i don't want to tell y'all the wrong price so on stock x it say that they're going for 427 for a size seven but stock x be bumping up the prices sometimes so um so yeah on stock x they're that much which is the fuck dumb it's retarded anyway so yeah um and I think that they go for about 80 if you get them for retail. So let me say that again. Retail, 80 bucks. I think that's all sizes, I think. I don't know about kids, but for like grade school and stuff like that. And then for resale, they we're just gonna say three plus because I actually locked up and got mine off of eBay and found a seller. And I got them for, I think, three. So yeah, that do kind of makes sense. Like it's in that family. It's about three to four hundred dollars, which is like I said, really dumb because if the shoe only costs eighty dollars, like that's these resellers out here making bank. All right, let's get into the shoe. So first review of the shoe, it just it is this show. This shoe's bad. Like I don't care what nobody say. Can nobody make me think in my mind that this shoe's ugly? My mom was like, "Those shoes are so ugly. These aren't ugly, honey. These is bougie Crocs for real. Like stop playing. <laughs> These is bougie Crocs. Like I love them. I love them. I think that they're different. I think that this is what the shoe world need needed. So like every shoe goes by like a cold. Like it's they still from this is like this is it's, it's in its own lane if you get what I'm saying. Like it's not. Like any other shoe, like although people might say it looks like Crocs, it really doesn't look like Crocs. The only similarity is like the holes and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? But like he took like a basic shoe, like let's say the Croc, and he made this shit retro. He made this different. Like like I said, it's this is in its own lane. It's no shoe that looks like this. Um, and I think he did his thing with these shoes. So yeah. So yeah. Uh, first review i just gave y'all the whole thing like i love them um i do love the color i was a little worried because this whole time i was looking at the 
the other color that's similar i'm gonna put it on the screen because i don't want to butcher the name and i don't remember what it's called i think it starts with an eye or something like that and it's like a little bright it's like cream color like an ivory color and this is more like sand in a sense like a light sand so this is darker than that and the whole time i was like yeah i want the shoe i was really looking at that um that other color the other colorway but um that price that price is i'm also gonna put that on the screen was way over three four hundred dollars and i'm like the freak like i'm not doing that i, I didn't even want to pay this but we here we got the shoe we happy we blessed okay but yeah so um i actually did want those other shoes but then i'm like it's really not much of a difference they do the same thing they look exactly the same the only difference is like it's a few shades lighter honestly so i'm gonna try to put that on the screen next to it maybe i don't think so i don't think it's gonna work for free. yeah i don't think that's gonna work because this is still coming up like and on camera these look how the other ones look that's why i kind of thought that i was looking at these but i was really looking at the other shoes i didn't know but um yeah i feel i never seen them both together in the same room or nothing like that but i feel like they're pretty similar it's just that one's lighter okay <clears throat> so on the specs of the shoe what can i appreciate of the shoe i like i said i can appreciate how different this is like i said nobody can ever say that yeezy he did he copied somebody else's shoe because this is none of his shoes replicate somebody else's shoes and a lot of brands do that but he has made a way to make his own lane and i just love it I love this is my favorite part okay other than like the holes in the shoe and like the little cutouts and all of that this is my favorite sh part of the shoe and y'all probably like why if y'all see how like they look on your feet you can appreciate this little like it's like a B you can appreciate that because it looks nice on your ankle it does something you can put a little anklet on for our females and all of that and it's just gonna set it off yeah so yeah, y'all, I am going to try these on for you guys, um, and then after that, we're going to come back and we're going to do the review, and I'll tell you guys, you know, what I really think of the shoe, and then, do I think that it's worth the price tag that it has? Like, is it worth $300, $400? I really don't know. Now, let's figure it out. y'all so this is the try on portion oh my god they go fire but yeah um they're cute they're cute without socks i think that i like them better without socks um they fit well they are comfortable they are um i don't like the little things at the bottom of the shoe like in this in the shoe the sole i think that's what it's called um so like after some time i think they might get on my nerves but for the most part they're cute they're very cute. Um, I hope y'all don't see my heels. They ashy. But um, I got some random socks right now. I'm about to put them on. Um, what I was going to say is, although I know that you're not really, people don't really wear like low top socks with these. They wear like kind of like the higher socks that you can kind of scrunch down. But that's neither here nor there. Let's put on the socks. Bloop. All right, y'all. I would never be wearing it like this, but unless they were like in the same color family. Anyways. Yo, they're so much more comfortable with the socks, I, I must say. They still fit well. I still, you know, I can still do what I'm doing. I love these shoes, y'all. I lied to y'all not. They're so nice. I love them. I just love them. So, yeah, they fit well with socks. They fit well without socks. If um the bottom start to hurt y'all feet, maybe y'all could do, you know, wear more fits with the socks and um go from there. But yeah, I love her. Okay, y'all, so we're back with the final overview, review of the shoe. So, comfortability, I give it a solid seven. Um, So, I did, as y'all seen in the try-on haul, I did try it on with socks and without socks. So, without the socks, the little... The little like speck you can't okay you can kind of see that like the little the bottom of the shoe kind of did irritate my foot a little bit like the bottom of my feet so if i wear this I, but it don't look right with socks all the time you know like for certain outfits you can't have on socks 
I mean, it's dual. It's doable. So, like, if you wasn't wearing socks with this, I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't really have an arch. It wasn't really. It was bothering me a little bit. I'm not going to hold y'all. Um, but when I put the socks on, obviously, it was more comfortable. So, I give it about six, seven. So, six without the socks. Seven. I think it looks better without the socks. But as far as comfortability and, like, durability and all of that. Well, comfortability, it wasn't as comfortable because of that. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so durability of the shoe. How durable do you think these shoes are? Um, I mean, considering the fact that they're rubber. I don't know for a fact that they rubber, but they're giving rubber. They're giving rubber. Um, considering the fact that it's giving rubber, I don't know what it's made out of. I think it is, though. Um, I think that they did a pretty good job. I mean, like, how durable can a shoe be if it is rubber or whatever it is? Like, it's definitely not a hard body shoe. It's not a shoe that I would feel like. I don't know. For the price tag for it being $300, for $300, $400, is this a shoe I feel like I would be wearing every day? No. Like, this is a shoe if I want to pop out, if I want, you know, wear something other than my Yeezy slides or anything like that, my Earth Tone colors, then yeah, I might pop this out every once in a while, but I definitely will not be wearing this every day. Because I don't know and I don't trust this material for it not to be you know effing up however the good thing about the material is that you can easily wipe this stuff off like if you get dirt like with my easy slides it's not the same material like it's not for those of you who don't know however they're kind of similar and you can kind of like wipe off smudges and all of that so yeah and these is going on vacation with me y'all i'm going to dr in mm, 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 four days four days y'all i'm so hyped and these is coming. I got the skim set. I was not playing. I said I need these for that outfit. And boom, I got it. <laughs> style of the shoe. I would give the style, like the overall look of the shoe. I get this shit a... It's getting a 10 out of 10 for me because like I said, I'm not trying to keep repeating myself. But this shoe is really, it's over here. Every other shoe is over there. You know, like it's just not... They're not in the same family. You know, like, this is something that I feel like, if you like a type of person that likes pop out shoes, like you like shoes, like you like shoes to make a statement, then I feel like this would be a shoe for you. And if you like not necessarily like a sneaker head and you do like comfortability, then I think Yeezys are very comfortable. So like, you know, slide over that way. Because all the shoes over here, they look alike. They got the same colorway and all of that, all of that. But not them, okay? Easy sponsor me for real. But yeah, overall look is getting a 10, 10, it broke the scale. It's giving 10 out of 10 plus, you know? It's different. Um, do I think it's worth it? Um, well, I'm a person, I'm an impulse buyer. I have to be honest with you guys because, you know, I would want you guys to be honest with me. And um, it's, to me, and I never say shoes is worth it. I promise you, I really don't. Certain shoes, yes, but certain shoes not. Not sneakers, because I'm not really like a sneaker head. I'm just getting into sneakers and all of that. But this shoe is worth it. I don't care what the price tag was, I was getting these shoes. I'm telling you, I was getting these shoes. Whether it was this colorway, that colorway, this color, I was getting these shoes. And these were kind of like one of the cheap, I think these were the cheaper ones. Maybe the black ones was, I don't remember. But I wanted an earth tone, you know, like, I wanted to give that kind of feel. So I, w I was looking at these ones. I was also looking at the, the like I said, the um, cream ones. I don't know the name. I'll put it on the screen again. And the uh, ones that are gray and um, and cream. Yo, those are so bomb. The gray and cream ones, bomb. Like it's so different, and it's just so different. The two tone ones. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So yeah, overall, I think that this shoe is worth it. I think that the shoe is worth it. $300, $400 tag and all. I know it's gonna hurt your pockets, but you gonna look cute, I'm telling you. You gonna look bomb. At least if you know what you're doing and you know how to put things together, then to me, it's worth it. Like, I'm happy with my purchase. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad. You know, I'm not mad at it. I'm, I'm happy with my purchase. Okay, so yeah, layer approved, period. So yeah, give me a sign, y'all. If this is what y'all want, let me know that this is the content that y'all want. Because, like I said, I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm trying to be an adult here. And I'm trying to get my life together. But I need y'all help. 
So, um, yeah, I like doing these type of videos a lot more than regular sit down videos. You know, I honestly like, I like being outside of the house, like those kind of videos, like lifestyle videos and all of that. But I do, I love fashion videos. So like fashion, shoes, anything of the sorts. If that's what you guys want to see, let me know. So yeah, y'all, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Join the squad, cause lounge queens, lounge kings, this is where you wanna be, trust me, like, I promise you. Cause we going up, we only going up, I got some fire ass content for you guys coming up. So make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you guys can be notified every single time I post. Cause you don't wanna miss it, I'm telling you now. Like, like I said, I'm about to go to VR, like, y'all don't wanna miss that, like I, y'all don't wanna miss it. So yeah, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm like, it seemed like I'm hooked on some like, Red Bull or some shit, but I'm really not like I'm just so hyped right now. I don't know like I'm about to go on vacation I got the easy I got like You would be hyped Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. Bye